Archimedes principle. Take a long rubber band and cut it at one point. At one of its ends, tie a clean washed stone or a 50 gram weight as shown in figure. Now hold the other end of the rubber band and make a mark there. Keep the stone hanging in air and measure the length of the rubber band from the stone to the mark made earlier. Now take water in a pot and hold the rubber band at such a height that the stone sinks in it. Again, measure the length of the rubber band up to the mark. What is observed? This length is shorter than the earlier length. While dipping the stone in water, length of the stretched rubber gets slowly reduced and is minimum when it sinks completely. What could be the reason for a shorter length of the rubber band in water? When the stone is sunk in water, a buoyant force acts on it in the upward direction. The weight of the stone acts downwards. Therefore, the force which acts on it in the downward direction is effectively reduced. How much is the magnitude of the buoyant force? Is it the same for all the liquids? Is the buoyant force of equal magnitude for all objects? The answers to these questions are embodied in Archimedes' principle. This principle states that when an object is partially or fully immersed in a fluid, a force of buoyancy acts on it in the upward direction. This force is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the object. Introduction to the Scientist Archimedes was a Greek scientist and a mathematician with sharp intelligence. He found out the value of n by numerical calculations. His knowledge of levers, pulleys, wheels in physics was useful to the Greek army in fighting against the Roman army. He became famous due to his work in geometry and mechanics. When he entered a bathtub for taking bath, he discovered the above principle by observing the overflowing water. He came out in the same state, shouting, Eureka! Eureka! Meaning, I found it! I found it! The use of Archimedes' principle is very wide. This principle has been used in the construction of ships and submarines. The instruments such as lactometer, hygrometer are based on this principle. Density of substance and relative density Density is equal to mass upon volume. The SI unit of density is kg per meter cube. The property density is very useful in deciding the purity of the substance. The relative density of a substance is expressed with respect to the density of water. Relative density is equal to density of substance upon density of water. This being a ratio of two equal physical quantities, it has no unit. Relative density of a substance is called its specific gravity.